I uh, recently had uh, picked up a turntable, used turntable, and um, the MK1200 Niner Niner, uh, best turntable <laughs> out there. And uh, Mighty John, the record guy, is on right now. John, good morning. Good morning, Bill. How are you? Dude, what is your turntable of choice? Do you go back to like some antique uh, turntable, or what do you uh, use? Just old techniques. Fine. Yeah. Techniques yeah. are the way. Uh, that, that one that was I used as a, as a wedding DJ, uh, ah. the 1200. Is yes. just so, that thing is a horse that just continues to work and work and work, and you can beat it up, and it still works. Yes, they knew how to make them. They really did. All right, so we're up. First of all, before we start with forty fives that are worth five hundred dollars or more, I yep. wanted to ask you about uh, Tom Petty. Any uh, real valuable Tom Petty records out there that people could uh, look for? Well, you know, he had one in the nineties called Echo, uh, which is currently up to around two hundred dollars. Okay. Wow. Uh, now, the death of a recording artist does not that. affect value. Only oh. time will increase value. Oh, but the reason this is worth 200 in the 90s, I mean, everybody was buying CDs. They weren't buying vinyl. and But they did put out vinyl copies of Echo. You know, John, to some extent, you could argue that it was... Uh, that you, When you say the death doesn't matter, you could say, well, it, it'll go up 10 years after his death, I guess, right? I mean, because time is the yeah. is the factor there. Yeah. I, yeah. I, wanted, oh, yeah. To, I wanted to... Bill's okay. digging through. He's he's got some, he wants stuff. you to appraise some he's stuff. Got a live on I, I brought in stuff, John. <laughs> summer, so. so the other day, With yesterday, picture sleeve. The other the, yesterday, and down in the break room here at the radio station, they put out a whole bunch of CDs and books and stuff that haven't been given away. And I'm I'm just kind of was looking there as I'm grabbing my soda, and I found um, a there's no CD in it. But so it's, it's just a picture. It's sleeve. just a picture <laughs> sleeve, but it's a CD. Yeah. So, but it's a picture sleeve of the Beatles. I am the Walrus. Hello, goodbye. Um, and it's the picture sleeve of probably the original forty-five picture sleeve, and it's from Apple. I'm wondering any value at all to that because I grabbed that quickly. Uh, for as far as the CDs, uh, I don't deal with them. I know there's a market, but yeah. it's not my specialty, so I don't know. Uh, but certainly, if you had the uh, the picture sleeve for the forty, the original forty-five. You'd be oh, yeah. hundred dollars, so. hundred bucks. And yeah. and is it ever a possibility that the picture sleeve alone has a value? If the record was all bad, uh, scratched up, would the picture sleeve have a value? Oh yes, there are collectors yeah. who just collect the sleeves. They don't care about the records at all. Yeah, isn't that? It? And that's what I. Yeah. That's why I picked this up because I'm like, boy, I could put this in a frame. This would look really cool because <laughs> it's unique. You, normally, those CDs didn't have, and this is a cardboard sleeve. Looks yeah. like a forty-five uh, sleeve, right? Uh, but uh, so I picked it up, thought it was kind of cool. I, and listen, yeah, if I can get any, if you, I can guarantee if you throw it out, it'll be worth money tomorrow. And that's exactly <laughs> it. And John, if I can get anything of value out of this place, let me tell you, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. It was free. They were giving it away. All right, let's go with forty-fives worth five hundred dollars or more. All right, we'll start with the Rolling Stones. They had a hit called It's All Over Now with Picture Sleeve. It's worth up to $500. Okay. 1974, Kiss put out a 45. 100,000 years. No Picture Sleeve, just the 45, $500. Wow. First record for the Doors, Break On Through to the Other Side with Picture Sleeve up to $500. So can you talk about the Doors? Very interesting group in that... Yep. Um, not even though they had mainstream hits, uh, not mainstream, but had a big following. I remember at least in, in my high school, um, you know, and I graduated in 1982 in the late seventies, early eighties, the legend of Jim Morris and all that. It was huge. The doors yeah. were huge here. Um, th that's got to play a role in value, right? Oh yes. And they, and very collectible. And of course, the fact that he dies at a young age just adds to the myth and the legend and that helps value. Yeah. And but the first Doors album with Light My Fire, uh mono copy up to about seven hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. And Waiting for the Sun, probably their big one, up to a thousand dollars in mono. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So there's value there. All right, yep. next up. From the uh, Who album Live at Leeds was a forty five called Young Man Blues with its picture sleeve up to five hundred dollars. Beach Boys, Heroes and Villains, mm. by Capitol Records with its picture sleeve up to six hundred bucks. The Beatles, She Loves You, on Swan Records, 1963, that came out. Current value up to $700. Okay, I want to ask you on the Beatles stuff. So yep. there's Apple, there's Swan, there's uh, there's all sorts of labels. Is there, a, is there a label that is more rare than the other that's one to look for? 
Um, probably uh, Decca when they released uh, My Bonnie by Tony Sheridan and the Beat Brothers. Of course, uh, the Beat Brothers were the Beatles. Mm-hmm. And that can go up about ten to twelve thousand dollars. Wow! Yeah, oh my yeah. I'm sure I threw that away. <laughs> <laughs> Just my luck. No, it right. was reissued on MGM, and on MGM, it's worth up to about two hundred dollars. Well, so. Still, yeah. All right. Label makes the difference. All right, we're down to the top four, I believe now. Yeah. First forty-five for the great Otis Redding. Shout, Bama Lama, up to seven hundred fifty bucks. Buddy Holly, Words of Love, forty-five, eight hundred dollars. No picture sleeve. Number two on our list. Bob Dylan, blowing in the wind, forty-five with picture sleeve up to twelve hundred dollars right now. Wow! And the very first forty-five released by David Bowie was called "Can't Help Thinking About Me." Current value, no picture sleeve, up to twenty-five hundred dollars. This song dates back to what year? Sixty-six. Sixty-six. Wow! Yeah. You don't even think about that, right? That uh, right. David Bowie had been a lot of those artists that were big in the seventies and eighties. Right. Were around in the sixties. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Uh, All right, good stuff. And again, uh, who knows? Maybe you have something out there that has some value. And the next time I bring you on, I know you're going to come on, I think, Halloween. I think we have you scheduled for Halloween. Uh, I, I'm not I sure, so, I'm yeah. glad to come on. Yeah. A- and and I and I have to say, uh, I, hopefully there's not another tragedy because we had you scheduled for Monday and then this horrible yep. thing in Vegas yep. hit. But I, I do want to say uh, I'd love to – I'm going to pre-promote and have people on Halloween. You're going to do Halloween records that, are, that have value. But I want to pre-promote and have people, if you have vinyl and you're wondering about value, uh, you'll take calls, right? People could call in. Absolutely, sure. All right, we'll do that then. It's right. appraisal. Uh, by the way, the uh, the website website moneymusic.com. Right now, you can get our price guide listing the values for over a million records uh, for twelve ninety five, which is half price today. Twelve ninety five. There's a all the details are right there at moneymusic.com. All right, mighty John, the record guy. John, as always, thanks so much. Thanks, guys. We'll talk uh, Halloween time. Looking forward to it.